Hi Carolyn, this is Lindsay. Just going over your um, week three images and we'll start right here at the top. Um, I love this set, I love this idea and I love your kitchen floor. Oh my gosh, I wanna totally deck mine out like that. That's so great. Um, um, and I and I like, you know, what you said you were trying to go for a look but that you you went for whatever she wanted to do instead because that's sort of that's sort of part of, um, you know, catching your subjects as they are and, um, you know, working with children because, you know, they, they don't often do what we want them to do. So uh, I think it's great that you just kind of went with the flow on this. Um, I, I've got two things to say about this is that I, I love, I do like this shot. I like this close up, but I also kind of like this one a bit further out. Um, I mean, maybe tighten it up a little bit but I kind of I kind of like the sort of um you know disarray of it all um I mean this is obviously better because we can see her closer up and and it's still okay because I can see that she's getting into a drawer you know and I like the ziploc bag on the floor and things like that um there's a couple things about this and um I know you mentioned later on in here that, you know, from a technical standpoint, there's some issues, um, further on in your images. And, and I can't remember if it was you that I said this to or not, but, um, and it's hard for me to tell. So forgive me if I'm, if I'm not right on this, uh, because it doesn't look super, um, sharp or clear. And, you know, I mean, you're shooting at a high ISO. I can tell it's not the, the most well lit, um, you know, place that you're at. Um, so there's a couple suggestions. Um, one is to try, you know, when you're shooting in these darker spots, um, you know, it's, it's worth even like having a reflector, even in your house. Um, it does make a little bit of a difference, especially because this right here is such a dark spot. Um, and, and obviously working against you, you know, um, or even, I mean, even if you had an artificial, if you had, um, artificial light, you know, like, um, your own, your own light, um, you know, I, I don't often shoot in my home because, um, I mean, I have plenty of windows and I have plenty of ways to do it, but, um, you know, it's England and it's cloudy a lot, so even when the light comes in, it's not a lot for me to work with, um, but I've I've found you know a couple of things that do help. A reflector can help even inside your house, um, so that's something to think about. Um, you know, as you're shooting. Again, I still really like the shot, and you probably could. Um, you might have been able to lighten this up a little bit. You couldn't do it too much without it looking really contrived. But um, that's just. You know, those are just some ideas. I, I there's an action that I use um, from Totally Rad Actions called Yin and Yang, and um, sometimes it really works for things like this. And that's something to just give it a try. Um, oh, and I know I mentioned this. I might have mentioned with it, it with you. I can't remember, but the 35 millimeter. I, I have, um, I've played with a 35 millimeter a number of times, and I. I personally don't like them. I have a D800 as well, and I, I just have found that no matter what I did, my images were were too soft. They just it just wouldn't um, work with me um, in the light the way I wanted it to. Um, and again, that that is my personal you know opinion and how I feel about it. I I've rented one. I've you know, borrowed some from friends, and, um, I, I, because of how I felt about it, I would never buy one, because I've, I just have felt like the images were too soft, um, but I thought it was harder to work with, but, um, again, that's just me, um, I, again, I still like the shot, I still think it's great, um, would love to see it in black and white, um, but, but really cute, and like I said, I like both of them, I like both the straight out of camera, I mean, I, I would, I would actually, I even kind of like it with your feet in it, you know, I think it's kind of fun and, 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 uh, it says just a little bit more about the photo, which, which I like. Um, anyway, 
So let's move on to your second image. Love this. Oh, don't we love the wall that our kids hit when we start shooting them? It's so funny. Um, it's so funny and yet so not. <laughs> anyway, um, I like this. Um, I think it's, you know, funny and kind of, um, you know, uh, maybe typical, you know, s something to kind of gives a window into her, you know, personality, which I like as well. And I like the bit of snow on, you know, on her, on her jacket. Um, and again, it's, it's what, what, you know, Summer had said in trying to get those natural, those natural shots and working with, um, posing and things like that. Um, in, in, or as far as like more dynamic, um, you know, I would maybe crop it in a little bit tighter, um, from here to here. I kind of don't want to lose the little palm on the top of her hat, but, but if I was trying to make it, you know, something of a bit more of a statement, then I would, I would want it in just a little bit tighter in. Um, and I, I actually like it in color as well, so, um, something to think about as far as the dynamics. When, when you, when you're taking your images no matter what you're trying to do, um, you know, like I, I always think about, you know, whether, whether I'm taking the shot and then once I've pulled it up and I'm starting to call and edit, I think to myself, would I put this on my wall? Um, I mean, that's what I think when I'm, when I'm shooting my clients and when I'm, um, when I'm again, pulling it in, into Photoshop and, and culling through, um, because otherwise they're just filler images that not only, you know, are wasting your time while you're shooting, but also while you're editing. So it's just something to think about. Would, would I put this on my wall? Is it a shot that is, um, you know, says something about their personality? Um, and, you know, if you can answer that yes, well then go for it, you know. And this, like you said, is one of your favorites and it's, and it's probably because, you know, you, you know her and you love her and her her personality and, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that that's, that's important. So those are just things to think about it as far as like making your images a little bit more dynamic. Um, but yeah, it's cute. And I like the black and white version as well. Okay. Um, and number three. Okay. Um, I really like this series a lot. I, I like it, um, most out of, out of the three that you've shown us. Um, like, I like the whole setup. I like the idea. Um, but like you said, from a technical standpoint, you wanted it to be more sharp. Um, and so you tightened up on your aperture. Um, and yeah, maybe you could have gone higher ISO. Um, and why is it so grainy? Well, I don't know. I don't, I can't really tell that it's actually that grainy if I'm honest. I mean, grain, grain definitely has to do with light and, um, and even like, for example, this shot here, I mean, I, I'll be honest, it's really hard for me to tell. It doesn't look incredibly grainy. Um, but if you're seeing a lot of grain and looking at this shot, I mean, this shot is pretty underexposed. So it's not necessarily that you're going, okay, well, my ISO wasn't that high. Well, yeah, your ISO wasn't that high, but if, if your ISO is anything over than 400 and then you're having to deal with something that's underexposed, you're going to find grain, no matter how awesome your camera is. And I mean, the D800 is amazing at that, um, working in, in, um, you know, really high ISO situations, but, um, you still have to account for, you know, your actual settings and, and, and the exposure, um, cause it can't make up for that as far as that goes. Um, I really, I really like them. This one's probably my favorite shot of all. And I know, I know you're worried about the sharpness and, um, you know, looking at, at your, your ISO and, um, you know, your shutter speed. It, it, all I can think of is that, um, you know, as far as her running around, is that probably why you, you didn't get things as sharp as, as possible. Um, 
but I think, you know, with here, you were fighting with the settings, and, and you probably needed to drop your aperture open a little bit more, and um, that, that could have made a difference. Um, anyway, um, I personally, these two are probably my favorites. Um, this definitely needs to be lightened up a bit more. And, um, and you know, sometimes, again, this is a personal opinion, sometimes when you have shots like this and they're just not speaking to you technically, um, I've just found that, especially if it's sort of a plain background and there's not a ton to work with and, and this isn't about where she's at. It's more about her. It's more about, you know, that she's running on the bed and jumping on the bed and having a good time. But sometimes these kinds of things are better to just black and white. Um, it speaks a little bit more about what's happening in, in, um, in the photo, you know, because you're working with this wall here that's, you know, kind of tan and yellow and um, you know, you're fighting against that. So uh, that's just something to think about. Um, but anytime, anytime you're working in low light situations, um, when you're bumping up your ISO and you're having to, um, you know, work with movement, there, there's always going to be something that is going to lose somewhere, you know, whether it's a bit of a blurry foot or, um, you know, you're getting some grain. Um, it's kind of a battle that you're constantly fighting and it's not, if she was holding still, you probably could have nailed it a little bit more, but because she was moving, it's, it's just, it's just a hard one to work out. And it's something that's going to just take a lot of practice. Um, yeah. And, and like I said, I, I, I would try, I would try a different lens if, if you have a chance to borrow or rent a 50 millimeter, I would try it over again. I would try to do this session over again with a 50 millimeter, and you might be surprised at um, how much it could change. Um, but yeah, but great shots, great images. I liked what you tried to do this week, and um, just love. I love this set. This is great. Um, and yeah, fabulous job. And we are looking forward to your last week. Thanks so much, Carolyn. Bye.